my hini e was seri and yan so or dia wo wo ya jebi out of sum you know had ya to gana for yina and him say a bra e baba to abe ye bwa boy ho abatsu ni emu any abatsu ne chi mpebi bia de hia e asum tri. We all remember JJ Rollins handed over power after nineteen years, especially after his two terms in office. Uh it doesn't happen often in Africa. So we are very much grateful that when he served the second term, he graciously handed over to the next government. And we are also happy that since then, we have been enjoying this democracy. And it is our hope that uh, these elections, only one person will win. And whoever wins will also continue. And anybody who is declared the uh, loser will be gracious enough to congratulate whoever wins. When you look at uh, issues and historically, you will really judge him wrongly. But when you are close up to him, you will see the goodness and the kindness of such a person. Uh, I came to very close contact with him when I sought to seek advices from leaders. So somebody who has ruled this country before uh, as a CEO, I thought that, look, let me get closer to this man and seek some advices. And when I got closer to him, then I got to know who really um, former President Flight Lieutenant Gerald Rollins was. Very firm and fair. And he stood for his word as justice. He stood for it well. Um, but he's a principal person, very kind. And he opened himself to all. He accept everyone as a son as a friend and as a father. So we've, this country have lost a very great person. And I think that his principles, life, and some of the leadership qualities uh, still remain in some of us who are leaders. And he had his successes and his failures. But the good thing about George John Rawlings is that no party in Ghana will have nothing to write about. And I want to say, may he so rest in peace. We also want to thank him, and even though he came as a revolutionary, he allowed himself to be used to open another wave of democracy for Oman Ghana. Today we celebrate Fourth Republic and transparency and democracy because he did not become like other African leaders who never left. He allowed himself to change from that boldness of his to become, to help us gain what we have today. And I want to beg the press but in times like this, let's be very circumspect. Let all the nation remember that somebody has lost a family member. We should not take for granted at all our sensitivity in the way we approach this thing.